Everyone wants to know when Ashes of Creation is coming out, but unfortunately, we're probably still at least a year away. Since everyone is so excited to set out on their own adventure in Vera, I figured I'd talk about my day one plans in Ashes of Creation. I'm sure this will change as I continue to learn more about the game and as changes are implemented. Hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell as I prepare for my first day in Vera. The very first thing that I want to do is take everything in. Now I'm sure I'll be eager to run around and start playing, but we have to appreciate these moments. Whenever Ashes of Creation comes out, this may sound stupid, but we won't be waiting anymore. Now I've met creators in this space, found a potential lifelong game, and met all of you during this anticipation process. So once the game is out, I'm sure we'll continue to meet people through the game, but this is like when we tell stories 10 years from now. Uh, uh, oh, yep. All right, let's uh, load up Ashes of Creation. Uh, you know, I, I remember when Q used to make those YouTube videos. Yep. Uh, good time speculating about Ashes issues. Now we're seven years in. I say this all of the time. We don't know how long things will be like this, so enjoy it now. I want to look at the starting point for whatever class I choose. I want to check out that area. I want to look at the mobs. I want to see what Unreal Engine 5.1 is capable of in this world. I want to cherish it because each and every one of us will only start Ashes of Creation for the first time once. As a casual and someone who is new to MMOs, I want to change that in Ashes of Creation. I know when World of Warcraft drops a new expansion, World First is always a huge thing. I couldn't care less about hitting max level first, but I do plan on being max level shortly after World First is announced. As I continue to quest, I'd like to find a home. Now, I'm not going to be able to purchase anything super early on. But I do want to know what area and node I want to be involved with. Depending on the activity of the player base, where I choose to stay could either be a lifelong stay or it could be subjective to change. I'm sure there are a ton of players out there that don't even care about their homes until they hit max level. They want to see everything, so they'll have a better grasp on what they can do and how they can do things with their character. With me, I'm looking for a home that can do everything that I needed to do. Are there resources in this area that are highly valuable? Do the mobs give good XP or drop good loot? Can I level up my artisan classes properly? Which brings me to my next point. Now, if you followed Ashes of Creation for a while, you'll know that you're only allowed to master two professions within an artisan path. Now, I might not need to know this day one, but I know it's gonna be on my mind. First of all, what two professions will help my character become the best version of himself? Second of all, do I want to be known on this server for those two professions? Like you all, I'm watching the live development updates. I'm reading up on the wikis to figure out what I want to do for my character because I want to make sure I'm picking the best choices. In short, I want my character to have some sort of synergy going for him. If I'm a mage, I want to make potions and get herbs and make robes and do all that good stuff, right? I feel like most people in the MMO space agree with that. I don't want to be a mage who's really a cook, but I'm building boats on weekends and then I can shoot fire out of my hands. You might want that, but not me. All right, this is going to sound childish, but every game I play, we got to test the height slash fall damage. It has to be done. All jokes aside, in New World, fall damage doesn't exist. So I was literally tossing my character all over the place, right? I knew I could jump off cliffs and do whatever, and I would take damage, but it wouldn't mean much. So I got a shortcut at essentially no cost. Like many other players, I did come across an issue when traversing through the water in New World, simply because you can't swim. You just walk on the ground and the water continues to rise as you get deeper and deeper. So I'm very excited to try out the swimming system in Ashes of Creation. I'm really big into swimming because when I think about it, I'm thinking of underwater caves, underwater mobs, and just underwater content in general. So that is something that I have to try out in Ashes of Creation day one. 
One thing that I enjoy, and I think many people in the MMO space enjoy, is the shared space in MMORPGs. I remember playing RuneScape and just sitting in Lumbridge, literally for like hours just talking to people. With how anticipated Ashes of Creation is, I can only think about how many people are gonna be in the starting zones, looking for a wilderness level node, jumping off of cliffs into the seas and oceans with your boy. I'm eager to know what other people think and how they feel in Vera, because this will be their first time with Ashes of Creation as well. I'm excited to meet new friends, quest together, and possibly get annoyed with a few. And this is exactly why I'm going to be trying out the PvP servers, because I want to see how well the corruption system works. Listen, it's not an MMO if we don't have a little bit of toxicity. Since it's the first day and I literally have nothing to lose, I'm attacking whoever gives me lip. You took some wood from the tree I was trying to chop down? And you are gonna die. You accidentally kill the mob for a quest that I'm on. And you are gonna die. You look at me crazy because I'm jumping off a cliff. And you are gonna die. I don't really plan on attacking people as I continue to hit max level, but I mean, it's the first day. We don't have much to lose. I want to see how the system's gonna work. So I'm definitely gonna try it out. I'm not gonna be toxic though, all right? I just wanna have fun playing Ashes of Creation. And I know that our first day playing will have that in store for us. Well, that's if the servers, queue times, and glitches aren't present, but we're not worried about any of that. Right? What are your plans for your first day in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comment section below or hop in the Discord and let everybody in the community know. Please follow me on Twitter and Twitch to stay up to date with me. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.